Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to um, reuse constraints or, or create topologies using something called Signal Explorer and then apply those to the to the nets or the net classes in a design. So you only effectively have to do it once and then you can then use the tools to, to create all your match groups and, and all the groups that you need um, in a typical example. So I've got an FPGA, I've got four memory devices. This is going to be a flyby technology, so effectively we're going to go from from the FPGA to memory device one, to memory device two, to memory device three, to memory device four. And the way we would do this is from constraint manager. So set up constraints, constraint manager. Um, I'll look at my, my net routing wiring. I've actually got a user defined schedule here. So I've effectively, I've manually scheduled a net so, to show me that topology that I want to use and I want to reuse this going forward. You can see if I look at the propagation delay, all I've got in here is net classes. There's no match groups. So we're going to get the tools to do all the work for us. So I'll take my, my specific net here. I'm going to do a right mouse button, Signal Explorer. Um, I'm going to pick um, high speed license. So I need either a high speed license or um, an all-cab PCB SI license at least to be, able to, to be able to set constraints in Signal Explorer and then bring those back. So we'll start off with the Allegro with a high speed license. We'll click OK and Signal Explorer gets launched. We'll then see a topology of our, our specific design. So you can see there's my, my FPGA going through to effectively to U2, memory device one, memory device two, memory device three, memory device four. So if we look at the set constraints command, I can then start to set specific rules. So if we start off with a wiring pane, um, I've got a, a template that I've defined already. So I'm just going to verify that schedule, specify a stub length of maybe 0.76. Um, I want four maximum number of four vias on these nets. Uh, the rest I'm not going to worry about. But you can do things like total edge length EMI. Um, there's some signal integrity rules. There's some usage rules. There's some um, switch settle. Um, in this example, let's just go and set an impedance, and we'll do all and all with a target value of 50 ohms. Um, and let's just go with a two ohm tolerance. So we'll add that as a rule. Um, I don't need to worry about prop. Pro delay rules, what I want to do is create relative propagation delay rules, so the match groups that I need to use. So I'm going to start off with effectively DIM1. I'm going to go from U1, so the, the FPGA, into the first memory device. It's going to be using the class because I want to apply this to a class. And it's going to be a length based rule. I'm going to have no delta uh, and a one, uh, one millimeter tolerance. So we'll add that as the first rule and then do the DIM2. So we'll go from U2 to U3 using the same rules. We'll add that. DIM3 from U3 to U4, again using the same rules. And we'll add that one. And then finally, we'll do DIM4. We'll go from U4 to U5. So the last memory device, the um, last two memory devices, sorry. And we'll add that specific rule. Once we're happy with all of these, um, we'll hit OK. And then what we can then do is do a file and do update constraint manager. And if we look at constraint manager now, it's starting to, to, to bring in. So do I want to use this net name for this specific net? I'm just going to say no for now. And then I'm just going to clear this schedule. Um, so I've now, if I then look at my, my rule set area, so electrical constraint sets, if I look under routing, wiring, there's effectively my, uh, my verify schedule and my topology. There's my impedance based rule. Um, and if I look under there's my my dim two three and one two three and four with the specific classes and rules. If I then look at my propagation delay rules, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that rule. So DDR underscore clock. That's the net name that I used. You could have renamed that in Signal Explorer if you wanted to to make it a bit more um, in, um, based on the design that you want, or you can just use the net name here. I'm going to effectively apply that, and you can see straight away all my match groups automatically get generated based on me having to do that. So. That's for byte lane one. We'll do the same for byte lane two. And I'll also do the same here for um, the address and control lines because they're all going to use this, this specific rule. If we then just close and reopen constraint manager, what you'll see here is effectively all my match groups have been generated for the for the byte lanes and the address controls going between all the different dims. So I've made all those match groups or get the system to make all those match groups for me by just applying that single topology. So it's a it's a well worth task learning this process of, of how to apply constraints. So it's effectively select the net, go into Signal Explorer, set the rules that you need and then bring them back.